gone because I think he's tired. Look at him. He's, oh, he's really bad. Oh, my God, he got struck. The name Anatoly Malikhin is not well known among casual MMA fans yet. But that doesn't stop this heavyweight machine from dismantling his rivals, both in striking oh, 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 oh. and on the ground. The Siberian Bear claimed the prestigious heavyweight belt in the one championship and then dropped down a weight class to take the second strap from the double champion, Rainier de Ritter. It's time to pay homage to the undefeated fighter with a 100% finish rate. Who can definitely give top UFC heavyweights a run for their money. Malikhin was born in Siberia, Russia, in the city of Kemerova. His grandfather enrolled him in freestyle wrestling in fifth grade. Training in the discipline, Malikhin would medal at the Russian championships repeatedly. In order to make a living, it only made sense for the 28-year-old wrestler to venture into MMA. Anatoly didn't wait too long and made his debut in the new sport in September of 2016. From the very first seconds, it was evident how things would unfold. Malikhin landed a takedown and pounded the opponent to the floor. This simple yet effective fighting pattern will be his trademark for the time being, until the former wrestler finds a striking coach. He would march forward with punches, then take the action to the mat, and cave the enemy's head in with sledgehammers. In 2017, Anatoly won the Amateur World Championship by finishing all four opponents. Then signed a contract with a prominent Russian promotion, GTC. In March of 2018, Michal Vlaslo from Poland tested his luck against the Siberian bear. Hungry Malikhin didn't play around, grounding the adversary and quickly depriving him of oxygen. The successful career start allowed the prospect to spend more time in Thailand, particularly at the renowned Tiger Muay Thai Gym. This country became his main training destination for the upcoming contest. At the GTC and Fight Nights co-promotion event, Anatoly faced the experienced Baga Agaev. Malihin threw some shots at the feet and scored a takedown from the clinch. Judges decided that uh, that was not the fate. Immobilizing the rival with a crucifix, he got the tap with an Americana lock. Anatoly Malikhin trapped his opponent. Oh, that's it! Bagagayev taps! It was his fifth win and his fifth first round finish. Anatoly's year of 2019 began with a serious challenge in the face of Jake Hewn. Known as the Honey Bear, the American competed in two seasons of The Ultimate Fighter and had some wins in WSOF. That is it! Nonetheless, the script hardly differed from Malihin's previous performances. Following a spectacular slam, the Siberian bear took side control and got the job done with a Kimura, for the sake of variety. Malihin gradually climbed up the ranks and soon found himself facing the multiple-time kickboxing world champion, Alexei Kudin. The Belarusian striker also had three dozen MMA bouts. Despite his extensive experience in shucking wrestlers off, Kudin got taken down within 30 seconds. However, he was the first to keep his arms safe from the patented Kimura and even managed to get up from under the concrete slab. Thus, Malihin heard the bell sound for the first time. After the break, he continued to press, swiftly secured a power double, established strong control from the back, and left the referee with no choice. Yeah! 
at GTC 7, the promotion signed Anthony Hamilton, a veteran with 10 UFC fights. The showdown fell through due to visa issues, and Lucas Alsina, with a record of 7-1, stepped in as a replacement. Malihin fired a left overhand, clasped his hands around the waist, and took the Argentinian on a voluntary compulsory tour of the cage. When the initial Kimura attempt failed, the Russian pounded a couple nails and switched to an Americana. Alcina's sub-defense was on point, so Malihin had to dust him off the crucifix. Malihin scored three wins in the span of a year. But the level of opposition wasn't high enough to unveil his true potential. He wanted to test himself overseas, but no offers came from the UFC. Luckily, the fast rising promotion one called just in time. Anatoly's grand plans were foiled by the pandemic. He spent one and a half years without a fight and returned to the cage in February 2021. His opponent was Alexandre Machado, a veteran of M1 and tough, with four bouts under the one banner. The Siberian improved his striking in Thailand, which allowed him to apply intelligent pressure on the feet and fend off the takedown attempt with ease. Grabbing a back body lock, he dragged the counterpart to the ground and surprised with punches from an unexpected angle. Position, but good balance so far showcased by Molly. Next came the crucifix and a prolonged torture with a series of strikes. That crucifix position is a bad spot for Machado to beat. Helpless Machado tapped with about a minute left in the round. And there it is. After that, a happy Anatoly conquered the fans' hearts with his post-fight interview. My friend, one second. My English little bit. No, three months in my English now Urvin. He didn't hide his desire to face Amir Aliakbari, the world champion in Greco-Roman wrestling. The Iranian heavyweight was banned for life from amateur sports due to repeated doping violations, and subsequently switched to MMA. Malihin prepared for this bout with a new manager, his wife, who immediately negotiated new financial conditions for the family and changed her husband's nickname to Slodki, meaning sweetie. Slodki! Anatoly appreciated the new nickname and started feeding the foes with sweets right away. Ali Akbari, nice right hand landed by Malikin though. Nice little exchange right Keeping him on edge at all times. Malikin choosing his shot. Malikin launched ballistic missiles. Up a big fella from Iran. Overhand right. And one of them hit the target. He just got caught by Kang Ji Wong the last time we saw him, but he got caught again. He got caught again. Following the knockdown, Alek Bari remembered his wrestling background, but lost the position nonetheless. Receiving knees to the head, which are perfectly legal in one, in one championship. When the athletes finally disengaged, Malikin calibrated the big left. Mitch, you said that Alek Bari has and wished Amir sweet dreams. Now it's gone because I think he's tired. Look at him. He's, oh, he's getting lit up again. He gets dropped. The big kibosh. With blazing guns prohibited by the Geneva Convention, Anatoly scored his first career KO on the feet. Oh, he's getting lit up again! He gets dropped! During an interview, the league's boss promised him a title shot, but the official announcement kept getting delayed. The belt holder, Arjan Buller, insisted that it's up to him to decide who'd be the next challenger, rejecting several offers on the basis of time schedule. While the management tried to deal with the champion's whims, Anatoly was posting viral videos on social media. The Russian not only teased his future opponent, but also the top UFC heavyweights. These bad boys got tired after the first five minutes. Their cardio sucks. They aren't breathing. 
Buller never signed the deal in the end, so the matchmakers introduced an interim belt, which was contested between Malikhin and undefeated Kirill Grishenka. The Belarusian came in with a 5-0 resume, including two victories in one. Malikhin was light on his feet. You all there. Good jab, and he's coming. Through heavy haymakers. Left, right. The right hand, if it did, had some of the sting taken out with it by that backward movement from... And countered a naked low kick with a takedown. Of Grishenko touching him, though. Grishenko managed to tie him up and get him to the end of the round without taking major damage. We'll scramble out of this. You know how he's keeping the close guard? The Siberian kicked off the second frame strong with a signature left hook. And take a little bit of the oh, gas tank. And charged in for the finish. Big jab, no need to faint here. He's got a target to aim for. The adversary tried to evade the juggernaut's attacks, eating massive lead hands. Tiger Muay Thai doing a lot of things to the side of Grishenko's head. But he seems to take a punch well, doesn't he? Up the cuts from Grishenko. Nevertheless, Mullihan kept the pressure on and surprised Grishenko with a huge right out of nowhere. A rare double backhand with a stance switch caught Grishenka off guard. Feet. Oh, oh, Filled with emotion, 34-year-old Anatoly fell down to his knees in the center of the cage, holding the belt. Undoubtedly, he had put in a tremendous effort for this moment. Then Malihin took the microphone, thanking everyone who helped him on his path to the title, calling Buller a chicken. Bro, Orjan Buller, my baby chicken. And finishing it all off with a killer phrase in Russian. The long-awaited showdown with Buller was scheduled for September 29th, 2022. However, the champion pulled out once again. The reason cited was a surgery he underwent at the end of August. Disappointed, Malihin immediately approached the higher-ups and requested that Buller be stripped of the gold to get the division moving. One decided to give Buller a third chance and offered Anatoly a light heavyweight bout against double champion Rainier de Ritter. The Dutch grappler with a record of 16-0 was an expert at knitting spider webs on the canvas, from which helpless victims never returned. Malihin went on a diet and successfully made the one light heavyweight limit of 225 pounds. Sweetie stuffed a takedown attempt with ease. De Ritter immediately trying to get this thing to the ground. Good defense. And then treated his Dutch friend with a right hand. Be a key weapon here in the stand up. Oh, he caught it. He took a shot. He took a hit. De Ritter had no intention of exchanging in the stand up. Fall. Nice little duck under there by De Ritter. But all his efforts to take it to the mat proved unsuccessful. Good sprawl. And resulted in brutal punishment. On his back to the right from Malikin. Yeah. That night, the Russian bear's tenacious paws never let go of the prey. Somebody's always about to go. Nice body angles, all the levels. Oh, Anatoly looks right now. They're right above us. He looks. So the Asian remake of The Revenant lasted less than five minutes. Anatoly Malyukin has got two hands that are like anvils, and that's when they're not moving at you. That's it. He's full. Mullihan winded him with a body shot, followed up by a sweet overhand to the head, and then solidified the second belt with a bunch of hammer fists. A Hollywood-style walk-off is attached. The title unification bout against Arjun Buller eventually took place on June 23, 2023. The heavyweights met in the ring at the legendary Lumpini Stadium in Thailand. Malikhin applied pressure right away. Arjun Buller has told us that all week. Name of Malikhin. Oh, right hand. Persistently utilizing kicks. The past couple of years, very good defensive boxing to shut down the offensive powerhouse. The juggernaut. And working the body diligently. Oh. Forcing Buller to drop the hands down to protect it. 
the uppercut was especially effective. Sweet man, they see holes. Buller was backing up and looking to land a nasty counter. Arjun believes he can drown. But his defense was far from impenetrable. Coming from staying in the pocket now. What a damage. In the third round, Malihan upped the aggression and rushed in to get the finish. Dragging the opponent to the mat, he unleashed devastating ground and pound, forcing the ref to step in. Post-fight, the undisputed double champion decided to commemorate a fighter and a judge from one promotion who had recently been deceased. Today's not a day for celebration. One has lost two incredible people, and I'd like to dedicate this victory to their families. We should honor their memory with a moment of silence. Tired, look at him, he's fucking real. Despite first trying MMA at the age of 28, Anatoly Malihin quickly transformed from a tough ground and pound wrestler into a knockout machine. Although one appreciates his entertaining style and willingness to scrap with anyone, we still may see the Siberian bear in the UFC. In any case, it's bound to be intriguing to follow the journey of this uncompromising heavyweight with a sweet nickname. Slutke! If you enjoyed the video and want to see more one stars, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and vote for sport.